All right, this similarity is about the same as the, the, this conversion, okay? About the same, but we use different method, okay? We use the, we, we use equation. Of course, you can use equation to solve this, no problem, one. but I will prefer this one. Okay, for the similarity, I will use equation to solve for the problem. Okay, why should you use this method? Huh? When you see the equation, when you see the questions, has the word, the keyword similarity. When you see the question has a keyword similarity, then you just apply the, this equation. And this is for similarity between length. Huh? There are so many cases. Huh? This is one of them. This is one of them. It's between the length. The most simplest one. Okay? So this equation, you think the L2 over L1 equals to H2 over H1. Whereby L2 more than the L1, H2 more than the H1. Of course, you can assume that L2 is less than L1. No problem one. If you make the L2 less than L1, then your H2 also has to be less than H1. It's up to you. Okay? So, remember that this L2 is correspond to L1. Okay, correspond. Huh? Let, let, I will let you see what does mean by correspond. Huh? Okay, H1 also corresponds to H2. So, let's see this question. ABC is a triangle and PQ is parallel. PQ is parallel with the BC, right? And then BC is 12.6, okay. PQ is 8.4, AQ 7.2. You want to find AC. So what you see in this diagram is that it has two triangles. One is a bigger one, one is a smaller one, right? And we say these two triangles are similar because what? They has the same shape. They maintain the same shape. And they have the same interior angles, right? The same interior angles. So we say these two triangles are similar. Then you will notice that this base of the bigger triangle is correspond to the base of a smaller triangle. That's how we that's why how we use the word correspond. This is BC is correspond to PQ. As well as AC correspond to AQ, right? So now we just apply the equation. Okay, so remember our equation? L2 over L1 equals to H2 over H1. Okay, you can assume that L2 is the is a bigger length. Okay, I mean the length of the bigger triangle is 12.6. Okay, hold on, you want, what you want to find? When you find AC, yeah? okay, you can assume that L2 is the AC first. So you want to find AC. So AC, okay, that means as AC correspond to which one? AC correspond to AQ. So what is AQ? 0 0.2. 0.2. And then how about another length? We have BC and PQ, right? So on top of here is 12.6 over 8.4. Okay, make sure that if you take the, the bigger value, put it on top of the fractions, then another side you also have to follow. Huh? The bigger one over the smaller one, the bigger one over the smaller one. All right, then AC, how to find AC? It's very easy. Just take this fraction, 12.6 over 8.4, times it with 7.2. Then you can get the final answer. All right? So this is a simple question, only between the length. So let's look at this one. Huh? Similarly between length and areas. Length and areas. So which formula, okay, which equation should we apply here? We should apply this equation. Huh? Again, A2, uh, A2 corresponds to A1, L2 corresponds to L1. And you assume that A2 is more than A1, L2 more than L1, and we have a square there. Okay, in this formula, we have a square for the length, huh? because you take the length square, you get area, right? That's why you put the square for the length, huh? for the length, huh? not for the area, the length. So now, let's see this question. So as you can see in this question, you have surface area, right? So this question is about surface area, and it has the keyword of what? Similar, right? Similar. That's how you know uh, which equation you should apply. 
Okay, similar, and the keyword, another keyword surface area, you should apply this formula. A2 over A1 equals to L2 over L1. Take the square of this one. And you want to find what? Surface area, larger base. Best, uh, base. okay, best. Okay, this one, A2. A2 is what you want to find out, okay? So, just leave it as A2. And then, what is the surface area for the smaller one? 252, right? 252. And what's the length for the, the bigger one? Uh, you don't know, right? But this question gives you the ratio. You see, from this ratio, you know, uh, the bigger one, of course, represent the, the length for the bigger uh, bigger vest. And the smaller one represents the the smaller uh, the length for the smaller vest. Eh? So you should write this ratio as, I mean, you should write the fraction as 3 over 2. Eh? So bigger one over smaller one. Because I let the A2 be, uh, I let the A2 be the bigger one, then the 3 need to be bigger one. Now I think the square. So now you can find out A2. Three over two square times two five two. Square it times two by two, you have five six seven. CM square. Okay. Now the next one. Length and volume. So we have cover between the length, between length and areas, and now is length and volume. So we should apply this equation. Okay, instead of squaring the L2 over L1, now you cube it, right? Cube the L2 over L1. What is the volume? Okay, so let's look at this question. Again, in this question, you see the keyword, right? Similar. Always look for this keyword similar. If you see the keyword similar, then you know already. You should apply okay, that equation. Uh, and then you have the height and the volume. Huh? V2 over V1 equals to L2 over L1. And then we take the cube for this. Okay, now, we want to find out the volume of a larger container, right? So assume that V2 is a larger container. All right, how about the volume for the smaller container? 54. So here is 54. And what is the length? Or the height here for the larger one six right 4.5 and six is six is the larger one six over 4.5 and then cube it so now you can find v2 equals to 54 times six over 4.5 cube One to eight. CM cube. All right, now let's look at the, the last one. Similarity between the areas and volumes. Eh? Okay, this will be our last example. So apply this equation. We have a square of V2 over V1 equals to cube of A2 over A1. So be careful with the power. For the volume side here, the power is two, it's not, it's not three. Be careful. Okay, the power three is at this one. Okay, the A2 over A1. So be careful with the power here. 
So now, look at this question. Again, you see the keyword what? Mathematically similar. Again, the keyword similar. And this involves liter. Liters means volume, right? Volume. And what? CM square, right? Area. So it's about area and volume here. So now our equation is V2 over V1 equals to A2 over A1. Be careful with the power, right? So what's the power of this volume? Hmm? I said Yong. Huh? Power here is two. I just mentioned, right? Be careful with the power. Okay, area here is three. Yeah? The power of this area is three. Uh, always opposite to each other. Uh, okay, then now we want to look for the area of larger labor. Let's say you want to find out A2. Assume that A2 is a larger area. Okay, now, okay, this one we have different units. Liters, right? Liters is different from cm cube, right? And we have one liter. So, for your information, one liter is how many cm cube? One liter is what about right there? One thousand cm cube, right? Okay. So if you convert this to one thousand. All right, now V2. V2 is a larger volume, one liter. One liter is 1,000 cm cube over the V1. And this one, you convert 0 0.512 liters to cm cube, that will be 512 only. Square it. All right, and then... A2 over the A1, 96 cubic. Okay, now from this equation, how do we get the A2? Mm. For the left hand side, you have no problem because you can just use your calculator to simplify this. Eh? Then, how do you like get this A2 without 96 and the cube? You should remove the cube first, right? Uh, how do you remove the cube? You should take the cube root, all right? That's a way to remove the cube. Take the cube root. You take the cube root means the power is 1 over 3. Yeah? Right? This one will be 2 over 3. Okay? Because it times the power of 1 over 3 for both sides. So 2 times 1 over 3, you get 2 over 3 here. Then equals to, uh, this one no more already. Uh, 3 times 1 over 3 is 1. Right? Here is 1. So you can just ignore it. And now we are getting together A2. This one, to get A2, just need to take this one on the left-hand side, times it with 96. Okay, that's fine for this. 150 cm squared. All right, 150 cm squared. Okay, that's it. I think I will just stop here because the next topic will be a bit longer. I can't really finish within like 20 minutes. So we just stop here. Thanks.